Hi there, Aquarius, Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. This is your April 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So today we are going to be looking at an entirely new spread for this month of April 2021. Wherein we are going to be taking a look on what are the energies and influences that might be coming up for us, you know, and affecting us for this month of April. And especially when it comes to our personal life, a love life, uh, emotional life as a whole. This can also talk about career at some point. Um, definitely something that can affect all areas areas of your life um so over here we're going to be taking a look on your present situation uh what's going to be coming up for you very soon and the overall outcome of the month um, of april 2021 and over here we do have some form of cardamancy to give us some form of um information for the predictive side and it, we will be adding information into the spread of the reading and over here are three cards it's going to give us some form of themes and information that might be very important for us to know which we might see through within the spread of the reading or we might not and but we need to pay attention with these key themes and topics that might show up for the month and over here we do have my twin flame notes wherein it gives us information and details about emotions of a particular person in your life in terms of your love life it could be something that you're feeling right now or it could be something that the other person is feeling which they might be expressing or they might not be expressing to you but it is something that you might need to know and want to know all at the same time as well so um yeah so that's the reading that's the um, spread we have for this reading again before i begin that this is going to be a general reading so it may or may not tune in to each and every aquarius people out there so just keep that in mind i do suggest to watch a video regarding your sun sign moon sign and your ascendant sign all at the same time to give a more um a clear picture to what might be really happening for you and you know and see what resonates with you the most so um anyway let's begin the reading and you're starting off the month of april with the five of pentacles and we have that this is really more of a difficult card well not really difficult but it really tells us that you know there's could be some form of anxiety or a situation not turning out in the way that we like and you know this is not really a situation of pure happiness and pure joy in fact we might be struggling in, in that area of our life whether it's finances or love or communication with our partner you know there's something that's not fulfilling or, and there's something that we need and we want and we're not really having it uh, at this moment in time we do have the world card and the three of pentacles that comes with that so it gives me a feeling wherein there could be some form of problems when it comes to communication and working out a relationship working things out so this is going to be very evident for people who are in a probably uh, a long distance relationship maybe you know there could be problems in terms of their love life maybe there has been misunderstandings or maybe there is a lack of communication so a lack of continuance uh, kind of connection between you and your partner this can also be a time where and maybe you know your relationship situation is not really the most fun and exciting during this time and you know you're wanting something more you're wanting something more significant and this could be you having the urge of wanting to create a bond more you know having more interaction with you and your partner you know so this is going to be triggering a lot of desire uh of growth and development in the relationship at the very least this is something that you want you know um um, in the near future, we are seeing here that we have here the Five of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. This could be a situation wherein maybe you need to revisit something in the past, or there could be problems in the relationship that needs to be sorted out. But I kind of feel that this is really more of a situation wherein it's leading up into some form of uh, a breath of fresh air, wherein, you know, we need to probably work on... <laughs> 
problems in the situation so that we can finally move forward with certain things this can also be a situation on another aspect can happen wherein you know you might find some news that um leaves you feeling very unsettled wherein you know uh the five of swords has a bad reputation when it comes to being defeated you know or uh, you know a betrayal of some kind someone has brought you down or an energy wherein you know that uh some form of treatment has occurred that is not something that you deserve you know happening and because we have here the ace of pentacles and the six of wands i kind of feel that you know this could be a message wherein you are actually receiving a news of that nature and that might be the problem that you are you know having at this time and it's going to be very difficult especially when you know you're having the situation wherein uh, me and my partner are not communicating in a more effective way we're not communicating in a consistent way in the way that we want things to be and then now i'm finding out that maybe they're cheating behind my back they betrayed me and i'm having all of this conflict conflicting emotions inside of me this can also be a situation wherein some people might be wanting to to repeat a love affair that they had before maybe you know being tempted to 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 have more partners in their life i mean right now this is a general reading so i'm just telling you guys the different ways how this can actually occur and how this can happen so this can also be a situation wherein you know um I would say uh, maybe trying to repeat a past situation again, whether that is good or bad or what. I kind of feel that more morality issue can be another factor into this, and because we do have, we are having a lot of trees here. We had three of pentacles, three of cups over here. It gives me a certain situation we're in you know there is a huge chance that you know there could be some form of third party issues into the situation and or this could be also a situation we're in you are wanting to have some form of joy in life because you are feeling bored or you are not feeling very happy with your current situation and you are wanting to add some form of zest and excitement into your life so definitely there is something that is not satisfying in your situation and you want to change that you want to to change that uh, situation and you know and maybe clear out the vibe clear out the energy and you know get things going get things more happier those kinds of energies um at the same time this could be a situation wherein for some of you i mean a little part of uh, aquarius people is desiring to be with a person that they had in the past maybe maybe they wanted to reconcile with them to meet them again you know so all those in uh situations might be coming into the plate here in the near future we have here the hermit card the three of cups and the four of wands now this is really ultimately some form of harmonious energies but uh i kind of feel that maybe at the first part of the month we're in you know you are having here the five of pentacles the five of swords and the hermit so there could be something that's actually not satisfying in the relationship but it gradually changed because there's going to be some form of new beginnings a lot of good chances for reconciliation for for having some form of social events or parties you know some form of improvement in terms of communication maybe could be in the stars for you for the month of april 2021 i just kind of feel that this reading for aquarius right now can can lead into different aspects and lead into different uh situations you know and different possibilities so i'm putting it out there that this can be a situation that can be good for one person and can be not so of a good news to another person so it really depends right and let's not forget that aquarius has the uh, the uranus energy <laughs> so it's very unpredictable and you know it really craves attention really craves excitement and happening in in the life of a person so you know a lot of engagement is um 
something that we, we really, really like and value during this time as well. I'm also thinking that, you know, this is a possibility wherein we are going to be increasing our uh, communication level with people, you know, communicating not just with one person alone, but maybe to a lot. And when it comes to your career and other aspects of your life, that can be really a, a good thing. Of course, adding another person into a relationship in terms of love is a different story as a whole and that can raise a lot of complication trust me and especially we have here the smokes the eyes and the third party card now um the smokes and the eyes is really not a, of a totally good news right there because it makes us feel that you know there's something that's quite confusing in the air where it could be that our head is in the fog there is a possibility of a situation like that you know and that might be the trigger point for some Aquarius people that might encounter third-party situations because um it's like someone is not clearly thinking right right now you know there's a lot of fog in their head they're not really able to think straight and maybe they are giving in to temptations and all of that you know giving in to the adventures and lust of life especially when we have a lot of aries energy in the skies right now we might be you know and at the middle of april um venus is going to be visible in the skies and that can play a big big role in uh, raising that temptations and excitement in the air so um yeah uh, that can be very tricky at the same time this could be a situation wherein if you are off to do a bad deed you might need to be careful because someone is probably observing you spying on you and maybe you know very interested on each of your actions so you know if you're in a relationship you might need to be extra careful right now because you might get caught <laughs> So, you know, there's going to be a lot of spying. Um, on a different note, this could be a situation wherein, you know, maybe you're eyeing on someone, you wanted to communicate with them, and that is probably why you're st you're stalking them. Is there a possibility for me to be able to talk to this person, to engage with this person again? You know, what are the possibilities to build a relationship with them again? Whether this is a new person or someone that you already once knew. So you are going to be having an element of observing the situation and trying to, you know, um, take action to form some form of connection and communication um, into the situation again. And over here, we do have here the I need to be alone. I cannot do it. And we have a divine male energy. And the last card here says, I think I want to be with you again. And this raises the element here we're in you know this could be a, a, a situation and you know a past relationship maybe you know a past lover you know uh, a sweetheart that you had when you were young maybe and you know you're thinking of wanting to be with them again but at the same time you have this ego issues like okay i don't want to be with that person but at the same time i cannot resist the urge to be with them <laughs> I think I want to be with them, you know, it, this is like a situation wherein there's always a constant push and pull where whether what should I do? Should I should I talk to them? Should I hit them up? Or should I text and call them? Or should I just, you know, stay still and not do anything? So this is re really more of a situation where in, you know, um, I kind of feel that there is someone in the relationship fighting the urges, fighting the temptations of wanting to be with that person. But at the same time, I kind of feel that their emotional tendencies is going to come out and leak out quite strongly. So if they cannot resist you anymore, they are definitely going to reach out and contact you for sure. Um, we have over here... Lastly, the privileged lady, the message of concern, and the poverty card. Now, this could be a situation wherein, you know, there is definitely something alarming in the, into the mix of this reading, you know. And like I said earlier, this reading is, you know, leading up in different kinds of directions, wherein at one point, this is about you... Um, 
this is about you rebelling and doing things your way regardless of the rights and wrongs of a situation and another part of you this is about you being having the need to be cautious because people might be spying on you they might be loitering around your energy and thinking of thinking and watching of the things that you're doing and um, if you're a private person and you have your own care for security that might be an issue i mean who knows and this could be an issue wherein you know there could be problems in the into the relationship or a relationship might be at risk during during this time you know um we when we have this card and message of concern this is not really a caring card you know this is a card wherein you receive a news and you get alarmed by it you know like oh my god and you know this could be a news that that raises concerns when it comes to money or this could be a news that raises concerns of a difficult situation the poverty does not really always mean poverty literally because whenever we are dealing with keeper cards or any form of oracle gypsy cards um, poverty is really more of a theme and you need to apply that to, to the reading itself so this could be a situation wherein you might receive some form of news that you do not like and you know it and for for a love relationship situation this could be a news about another woman you know another person into a situation you might find out that other person you know cheating behind your back or having some form of illicit love affair um it really depends right now i just kind of feel like this whole reading shouts caution and shouts um third party relationship situation of course it's not going to be for each and every aquarius people out there i doubt that's gonna happen but i do know that relationships during this time is going to be tricky for a lot of aquarius people um and um i kind of feel that the issue here right now is going to be also allowing you to think more about what you really want you know i kind of feel that a lot of you are, is going to battle their, their themselves you know internally of i like this person but i should not reach out and contact them you know there could be those kinds of issues that might be coming up what is the right thing to do what is the wrong thing to do you know morality issues might be coming into place maybe you're already married or maybe you are already in a relationship that yet you're still having some form of temptations with someone or you get tempted tempted to an offer of some kind you know so um this can really happen in different directions for some of you you are going to enjoy yourself with that and for some people they might just find this a very alarming time either way this is going to um opens open people's eyes to see the truth um in their own relationship situation during this time so keep an eye on that especially this is this could be especially true for people who are having difficulties in their relationship you know their partner is suddenly becoming distant becoming cold then there could be some form of problems that you might need to take another look on and maybe observe you know if are they just having various personal problems or is there a possibility that they might be cheating behind your back you might need to verify that for yourself so um yeah this is my reading for you aquarius people out there and if you do want a personal reading just like this one or something a little bit more just specifically done for you and your own situation i do have an offer that uh offer various readings budget readings on my website you can go to my website in the stars by crazy.com slash shop and you'll be able to see the various offers that i have with readings and yeah you can just purchase an, an order reading and we can take a look on your situation um with that um yeah uh let me also invite you guys as i've recently made a facebook group community wherein i talk about astrology i do teach a lot of my intuitive readings how i do my readings you know a lot of insightful things so that i can you know this is my way for me to to communicate m with my followers with my with my um subscribers here and there you know 
um, and all of those kinds of things. So it's really fun and very interactive and it's slowly growing. So I'd love to have you into the group as well. Um, also, I recently have been selling and making um, a lot of my intention oils. And this is a master bottle, by the way. Um, the bottle that I usually sell comes with a, a, little, a, a more nicer container. So this is going to be, you know, some of the oils that I have. And if you are interested with buying love oils um, money oils and a lot of conjured oils um, you can check that on my shop and all of the details will also be down below the description in this video please uh, don't forget to hit the like share subscribe and comment down below this video if you find this insightful and if you find the advice helpful and if it actually resonates with you or not <laughs> and um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and i shall see you guys again next month bye